NASA's Orion spacecraft traveling beyond the far side of the moon on its historic journey, leading the way for future manned missions. Orion breaking a record for the maximum distance ever traveled from Earth by a spacecraft designed to transport humans. The capsule is about halfway through its unmanned trip as part of NASA's Artemis One moon mission. And our transportation correspondent, Gio Benitez, has been communicating with it. He joins us now live from Johnson Space Center in Houston. Oh, I'm so jealous, Gio. And I understand, I know, I am. feel it, feel it. <laughs> <laughs> Kira, I am geeking out here because we are inside Building 9 at the Johnson Space Center. And for those who know NASA history, this is where the training happens, right? This is where the training happens for astronauts. I want to show you this right here because this is the training mock-up for Orion. So Orion, this is almost exactly like what's orbiting the moon right now, 266,000 miles away. And just moments ago, we were able to use one of the technology demonstrations that's inside Orion right now uh, near the moon, okay? And it's called Callisto. This is a partnership between Lockheed Martin, Amazon's Alexa, and also Cisco's WebEx. And we were actually able to talk to Orion, and we were to able to communicate with it. Now, this is a technology demo to see if it works and to see if you could actually use Alexa out in space. And the whole reason would be that eventually, if astronauts would be able to use something like that to communicate, not just with Earth, but also get information from the spacecraft itself. I think we have a little moment wow. right here. Listen to this. You've now commanded the lights. Alexa, set the lights to blue. Alexa, set the lights to blue. Wow. You've now commanded the lights. And it's just incredible because we were actually able to command those lights and we were able to ask Alexa to do a cer a several different things on the spaceship. But as you saw, the delay was only five to six seconds, which is just incredible because it actually has to communicate with the deep space network to get all of that information and make that happen. I want to bring in a superstar <laughs> NASA astronaut who is so kind enough to join us here, Victor Glover. Finally, we get to, the last time I spoke to you, you were on the International Space Station. <laughs> so we were able, you. yeah, we were able to communicate that way. How excited are you about all of this technology that's happening on the Artemis mission? You know, Gio, it's great. I, I heard you talking about the message that you sent to, to the Orion capsule, and I love that engagement. You know, it's just so amazing that, that we actually have now our own moonshot. You know, when humans yeah. do great things, we call them moonshots, and now our generation has a moonshot. It's a really exciting time. Yeah, and you, my friend, I know you are very excited to potentially be an astronaut going to the moon someday. <laughs> well, you know what, I'm excited that it's just a reality that we're going to send people to the moon, whether it's myself or one of my good friends, whatever aspect of that mission I get to be a part of, I'm just happy that we are doing it. I get to be a part of the we no matter where I'm sitting. And I am excited we are doing this together. <laughs> Victor Glover, NASA astronaut, thank you so much. Thanks, thank Gio. you so much. Kira, back to you. Just. I mean, sensory overload here at the Johnson Space Center. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, party mode, from what I understand. All right, that was so awesome. Tell Victor party I said mode. hello. Yes, that was great. Gio, can't wait for more. Gio Benitez, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.